guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I have the Jujube Be Prepared packed for a weekend away with my husband with no kids. Recently my husband and I were in a wedding for our friends, so we took a short trip out for the weekend to Colorado for a very, very fun weekend, but it was pretty short. The Jujube Be Prepared was the perfect bag because this is all I brought. We like to fly Spirit Airlines and we don't like to check or bring a carry-on bag because you have to pay extra for those. So this qualifies as the free personal item that Spirit allows, which is I believe a maximum dimension of 18 by 14 by eight inches, I believe. And I do know that this fits and works for that because I was able to squeeze it into that compartment. I do have it packed pretty full, which you will see, but it does still fit. So I really, really enjoyed this bag. And the only thing that I would say is that it did get a little bit heavy, but I don't know that that had as much to do with the bag being heavy as it did with me just packing heavy items. It is a heavier bag than like the Starlet, but for me, the extra pound or two that you get with all of the internal organization and pockets is totally worth the extra pound or two. And it did get a little bit uncomfortable if I wore it for a really long time, but overall, I really, really enjoyed the Be Prepared as a carry-on and weekender bag for myself. If you're interested in seeing how I have the Be Prepared packed, then please keep watching. Okay, so here is the My Be Prepared. I will start with the front of the bag. On the one tote strap, I have my Clippa 2 bag holder. This holds 33 pounds, I believe, and I have been using this lately on my bags when I remember that I have it. It's really nice to keep your bags off the floor. It hangs right off the table and it's nice to have. On the front snap pocket here, I bought a magazine and I was super excited to have this. I really feel like I am either losing touch with society or whatnot because I feel like I didn't recognize anybody in this magazine, but it was still fun to look at it on the plane. In the mommy pocket, which I love on the Be Prepared, I had my wallet on the key fob. This is a small set piece in the Newport print, packed up as my wallet. I had a medium set piece in the Palm Beach print and I just used that as my first aid kit. In the zipper pocket up here, I just kept random things that I wanted to be able to grab for easily. The little phone stand that I mentioned in my favorites video, a lotion, my measuring tape, and a pack of gum. In the sunglasses pocket, I did actually keep my sunglasses, but now I can't find them, and then I just kept a pen. In this pocket here, I designated for my chapstick just so that I would know exactly where it was and could reach for it quickly. In this bottom mesh pocket, I have a mini itsy ritzy snack bag in the Tokidoki print. And in here I kept all of my charging necessities for my phone, my charging block, and a cord. And in the other mesh pocket I have a little coin purse that I made in the Unikiki 2.0 print. And in there I just have my headphones. On the side here I have my pink lady star. And then in the bottle pockets they mainly stayed empty but it was a nice spot to pop my phone or whatever else I needed. Same with this bottle pocket. In the back snap pocket, I mainly kept wipes and then it was just kind of a catch-all for other things. I'm amazed, even when I'm not with kids, how often I am happy that I have wipes. So I did pack those in my wipe pouch case. The nice thing about the Be Prepared is that the top opens in a U shape for the zippers and they go all the way down the sides of the bag, which exposes the awesome gussets that the bag has. So once that all is opened, you can see that I have this stuffed pretty full. I have a large set piece in the Newport print and I kept the long strap in here just in case I wanted to be able to grab a few things and use it as a clutch. On the top I have a medium be organized piece in the Donatella Sweet Shop print. Because this was a trip with no kids, I did have to pump while I was gone just so that I wouldn't get too full. <laughs> and so that's what I have in here is just my manual Phillips breast pump, a bottle, and some storage bags. For clothes I packed a t-shirt, shorts. A pair of jeans, which are still maternity, and yes, three months postpartum, I am still rocking the maternity pants. I have a tank top, my Numi curling wand. This is the 32 millimeter barrel, I believe. I have a Be Ready in the Donatella Sweet Shop print. This was used as our toiletry case. So I have our toothbrushes up here, I have some Q-tips, a comb, a small set piece which has eyelashes and lash glue in it because I did do my friend's makeup for her wedding. Makeup wipes, a hairbrush, hairspray, conditioner, deodorant and everything like that. I have another Be Ready down here in the Duchess print. This is packed also pretty full because I did do my friend's makeup for her wedding. And this is packed with all of my makeup. So I have all my brushes up top and then I have all my makeup down here with everything that I need. On the bottom I have a large Be Organized also in the Donatella Sweet Shop print. And this is packed up with the skirt that we wore for the wedding. I was able to save space by putting it in the large Be Organized piece. As you will see it is quite a large skirt. 
So it was nice to be able to roll it up and put it in the large Be Organized. And then on the bottom, I just have a pair of flip-flops that I wore for the wedding. And then in the back mesh pocket here, I have underwear. I have three pairs of underwear packed up. And in this side pocket over here, I have a Kanga Care wet bag in the Toki Korno print. And this I just hung on the door while we were there so that I could put all of my dirty clothes in it. And that was really nice to have. And that is how I had it packed up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.